guys, today I am here to do something that one of my subscribers actually asked me to do, and that is the daily vlogs tag. I think, um, sorry, I'm looking over here to my computer. Um, I think Mommy to Phoenix came up with this tag, and then someone else asked me to do this tag, and I thought this would be fun because I do get a lot of questions about why we started uh, daily vlogging, do we like it, and then also about a month ago I made a video talking about maybe stopping the daily vlogs. So this will kind of give you guys an idea of where we stand and what's going on with the daily vlogs and just kind of an insight on that. There are 12 questions, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started. The first question says, how long have you been daily vlogging? Today is February 1st, so that means we've been daily vlogging for seven months. We started on July 1st of 2015, and at the time, I wanted to daily vlog for the whole month of July because we had a ton of stuff going on in July. Jackson was just born, and we were going to be going on a lot of different um trips and vacations and seeing a lot of family so I was like you know what I'll try out daily vlogging and then it's just kind of gone from there and we haven't stopped yet for seven months. The second question is what made you start daily vlogging? Like I said it mainly just sprouted from wanting to daily vlog all of July of last year but obviously before that I've thought about daily vlogging before. My channel originally was just like a mommy channel where I kind of did tags, I did cooking videos, I did recipes, I did baby related and mommy related videos. And then I also kind of threw in vlogs here and there if we were gonna go do something fun, that was all. But I always loved watching other people's daily vlogs because even in the times where they weren't doing a bunch of fun things. It was still fun to get to know the families and get to know the kids and the parents um, as just them in their house doing their normal things. So I always thought like maybe that would be fun, maybe that's something I could try. And so when July came around and I was thinking about doing daily vlogs, it was kind of an easier decision to start then. Number three is what's the hardest part about daily vlogging? I think for me the hardest part about daily vlogging is just kind of juggling everything. I want my channel to still be the mommy channel that it was before with the daily vlogs. And I did think about doing two separate channels, but right now my channel is still pretty small and I wanted to just grow my audience um, organically through what I did. So I do daily vlogs on this channel, but I also do separate videos like this one and you know, updates on the kids and still some more recipe videos, some haul videos and things like that kind of sprinkled in here and there. So the hardest part is kind of balancing all of that with my life as well. Chris has a full-time job and he doesn't really help at all with the daily vlog or my videos. He's in the videos and he'll occasionally pick up the camera, but he doesn't, it's not like a 50-50 thing where he's vlogging 50% of the time and I'm vlogging 50% of the time. Most of the time I'm the one that's vlogging and I'm always the one that's editing and uploading and doing all of that. I think that's the hardest part is just, I love vlogging and I love all of that, but then finding time to edit and upload, especially with the extra videos, that's when it kind of gets difficult. If I had someone else to help me with the workload, it would be a lot easier. Number four, what's the best part of vlogging? Hands down, I'm pretty sure everyone would probably say the same thing, but the best part of vlogging for me is just having the memories on camera. Chris and I actually were just going through our um, videos yesterday of before we got married. Now, we didn't have a YouTube channel then, we weren't vlogging, but we had just gotten a new camera from his job and we were videotaping our dogs when they were really little and just all of the emotions and all of the fun stuff kind of came back and I was like oh my gosh look how little they were or look how cute they were and that was just our dogs you guys so we were thought we were talking about how fun it's gonna be to look back on our videos in a few years and see Jane and Jackson and even this baby that I'm about to have now grow up in front of the camera is gonna be awesome 
So just having those memories is gonna be great. Number five is thoughts about vlogging in public. I'm laughing because I kind of go back and forth with this and I guess it just depends on where I am and who I'm with. So if I'm with the kids and I'm out in public and Chris is with me and we're just kind of out somewhere and there's a bunch of people around, I don't care about vlogging. I'll vlog, I don't get nervous or anything. When I do get nervous or skeptical or not really wanting to vlog as much is when I'm with friends or family. My family is getting used to the vlogs. They have nothing wrong with the vlogs. They love watching the vlogs, but I'm not sure if they're comfortable on camera or if they want to talk on camera or if they're going to clam up when I have the camera facing towards them. If I'm like with a friend and we're at the playground and we're chatting, I'm not just going to like take the camera out and start introducing you guys. That's where I'm kind of like iffy. Number six is how do you manage a daily vlog when you're having a bad day or arguing with your spouse? This is a good question because I'm not really sure. During my first trimester of this third pregnancy, I was doing daily vlogs. Now my last pregnancy with Jackson, I did not do daily vlogs and there was like a big gap of time in between videos because I just did not feel good and I did not want to make videos. I didn't want, want to put makeup on. I didn't want to sit in front of a camera. So during the first trimester of this pregnancy, it was kind of hard sometimes to take out the camera and to be happy and vlog, especially when I was feeling sick. Also, I try to be really positive on the vlogs, but if I am having a bad day, sometimes it's fun to vent to you guys. Like uh, when I hit that lady's car at the grocery store, that kind of made me have a bad day. I mean, what kind of day am I supposed to have after that, you know? But I think in general, either I just don't vlog as much and it's gonna be a short vlog, or I do some sort of one take or something like that where I kind of pull up my big girl panties and I chat with you guys for a little bit. Or like I said, I vent to you guys. And then I know a lot of you guys are so sweet in the comments if I'm having a bad day or if I share struggles with you guys, you guys are good to um, help me out in the comments. So those are the, some of the things that I do if we're ever having a bad day during daily vlogs. Number seven is how did you pick your channel name? Well, since I started this channel before I was daily vlogging, it has nothing really to do with daily vlogging. And I actually thought about changing the name because obviously, I, if you guys know, my channel name is all about being mom. And that was kind of just stemming from what I wanted my channel to be before when I started, which like I said, was hauls and mommy stuff and baby stuff and updates on kids and things like that. So all about being mom. I can't remember where I got that. I just kind of made it up and it kind of just stuck and that's what I used. And once we started daily vlogging, I thought about changing the name to something related to our family because it's not just all about me anymore with the daily vlogs. Chris is in them, Jane's in them, Jackson's in them. We'll see how big the daily vlogs get and also how long I will daily vlog if I wanna continue it for a really long time. Maybe I will change the name and then maybe get a different channel for the separate videos. But right now, it's just gonna stay all about being mom. It still makes sense because I'm a mom and the videos are all about what that's like in the daily vlogs basically. So um, we're just gonna keep that name for now. Number eight is how often do you go back and look at old vlogs? Not very often. I hardly have time to watch anybody else's videos and I do have a lot of people that I do like to watch. So if I am gonna sit at the computer and watch a video, it's probably gonna be somebody else on YouTube. And I do feel like sometimes I'll be like, oh yeah, remember when we did that? And then we'll go look for it or look at that one video but just sitting down and going through the videos we haven't done yet. But I feel like once the kids get a little bit older and they wanna watch their home movies or home videos, this is what we'll watch, because this is our home videos. I remember loving to watch our, my home videos, and I still love watching my home videos when I was little. I think that that's when we'll watch them the most or when we'll see them the most is when our kids get older and they're interested in watching some of the stuff that they did when they were younger. Number nine, how does it affect your family when you daily vlog? I don't know how it affects my family. If you're just talking about like Chris, Jane, and Jackson, they love the vlogs. I know it took Chris a while to get used to the camera. Jane just loves the camera, you guys know that. Jackson has no idea what's going on. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't think it affects us. If we're just at home, the camera is kind of part of the family. We just bring it out whenever 
nobody gets like shy or overreacts when the camera's on except for maybe the dogs. But if you're talking about like family members other than just us, I'm not sure how it affects them because like I said, I don't really bring it around too much. I don't ever s stick a camera in their face quite yet. I don't know if they're used to that or would like that. So I don't know. I don't know if I answered that question right. Number 10 is what do you use to edit and when do you normally edit? I use iMovie 11, I think it is, to edit, which is just on my Apple laptop, my, what is this called, MacBook Pro. And um, that's just what I've always used. I haven't paid for anything crazy. If my vlogs take off, if I wanna do this longer, maybe I'll put money towards, you know, like, Final Cut Pro or something like that where I can you know do cooler things with editing but right now this is what works I think our videos are pretty good with edits and I don't really have time to teach myself how to do something totally different at the moment so um, that's just what I'm gonna stick to and when do I edit I either edit at night after the kids go to bed or in the morning it's rare that I edit in the middle of the day unless my morning was hectic and something still hasn't been edited. That's daily vlogs. My separate vlogs, I edit whenever. Like I'm making this video right now while the kids are napping, so if I have time to edit it as well before they wake up, then I will. If not, I just edit it whenever I can. But like I said, daily vlogs, I'm trying my best to put it, make a habit of editing it when the kids go to bed. But sometimes Chris and I just wanna have our time together and we have shows that we like to watch together as well. So I don't wanna be like editing on my computer the whole night and I also like to get to bed at a certain time as well. So if I don't feel like editing at night, then um, I'll edit while I have my coffee in the morning while the kids play a little bit and watch cartoons. Number 11, do your personal friends and family know that you do vlogs and do they watch it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of my family and friends know that I vlog and I'm pretty sure they all watch. I don't know if they all watch every single video, but they watch. And it's surprising too that sometimes we'll be somewhere and like one of Chris's cousins or somebody that I would have no clue would have even known that we did the videos is like, yeah, I watch daily. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's kind of weird to know that because I didn't know. I, sometimes I just picture just the subscribers watching and I forget that my family watches too. So um, I'm glad they watch because I that's the whole reason why we basically started was because for our sake to have memories but also to share our journey with our family that we can't see every day or even every week. So it's fun that they watch. Okay, number 12, advice to someone thinking of starting daily vlogs. Advice for someone that's thinking about starting their own YouTube channel, I would say go for it. It's fun, it's exciting, you never know what's gonna happen. It's just fun to have memories and things like that. As far as daily vlogs, it really is a chore, it really is a job. If you're gonna be doing it alone like me, like if you have a spouse that works all the time and he or she doesn't have time to help you, then it's really hard. It's, it's a lot of work, you know, you're bringing out the camera a lot, you're filming things, then you gotta put the clips from your camera to your uh, computer, then you gotta edit it, then you gotta upload it, then you gotta put all the things in the description, and then you gotta do all the social media stuff, you know, post it to Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Now, you don't have to do all of that, but that's how you become successful and that's how you get new subscribers is just kinda put yourself out there. So, there's a lot of work. It's not just filming and putting a video on YouTube. So I would say make sure you have the time to do it. Make sure it's something that you really want to do because if you don't really want to do it, it's easy to just kind of give up and say, no, I'm not gonna do that. But who cares? If you wanna start it and a week later you decide it's not for you, then it's not for you. So I would just say make sure you have the time to do it. But that is the tag, that is all. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I am going to tag Hickman Vlogs, Shaylee Daily, and Katie on the flip side because they do, well, Cullen and Katie. I'm gonna tag Cullen and Katie. They can do the video together, but I'm sure they'll put it on, or I'm not sure, but maybe you'll put it on Katie on the flip side. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!